Hey guys, I'm Bump and today I'm going to be hydro jetting a sewer line for tree roots. We're going to find out how well this inexpensive sewer jetting kit I picked up on Amazon works at removing tree roots and sewer lines. This is a sewer jetter kit for pressure washers, so if you already have a pressure washer or can borrow one, you're already halfway there to having your own DIY sewer jetting kit. It comes with all the sewer jetting nozzles, pressure washer attachments, and everything needed for a DIY sewer jetter root cutter. This sewer jetter kit has four and a half star rating on Amazon, and best of all, it can arrive the next day. So you can get it quickly if you have a clog in your main line like I do. You can also use this kit for clearing things such as French drains, other plumbing around your house, or even your gutters. I will include for your convenience a link to the sewer jetter kit below in the video description. It's been a couple of years since I've had to snake my main line. I've noticed I've got uh, water standing in the pipe now and I've got a, a clog forming. Uh, water slowly draining out of the main line, so I need to address this immediately. I ended up filling up my main line with water and using a plunger on one of my clean outs to get the water flowing again to buy me a little bit of time. This is a simple trick that I've used in the past to get water flowing again. You could also use a drain bladder like this one to get your water flowing again. It's a useful trick to use to buy you a little bit of time until you have time to get those roots cleared. So I also got this Comstex sewer inspection camera. The folks over at Comstex were nice enough to send me this sewer inspection camera and I'm really glad that they did. This sewer camera works great to work along with the sewer jetter. If you've ever gotten a quote to have your main line scoped or cameraed, uh, it can be extremely expensive to hire a professional to do that. So. Uh, you can pick up one of these entry-level cameras uh, for about the same price you'd pay for a professional to do that inspection. So that way with the camera you can do that inspection on your own as needed. This sewer camera is also available on Amazon, uh, but all the other items in this video I did purchase myself. I'll leave a link to the Comstex sewer camera along with that drain bladder in the video description below. Also in the video description I'll include a promo code for Amazon that'll get you 5% off that sewer camera. With the sear camera, I was able to confirm I do have roots coming in in a few places in my main line, so I need to get those cleaned out as soon as possible. So I plan to actually use my sear camera while jetting to help remove those root blockages. With the aid of the camera, I should be able to get right in on top of the blockages and work the jetter uh, to help remove those roots. So using the jetter along with the sear camera, I should be able to get similar results as you do with a mechanical snake and try to get those blockages pretty much cleared out. Also with that sewer camera, we'll be able to see clearly before and after how much of the root mass we're able to get removed. So we can clearly see before what it looked like all, as well as afterwards when we're done with our cleaning. This hydro jetting kit comes with three different sewer jetting nozzles. The button nose jet and mushroom head jet uh, both have a zero degree nozzle on the front of the jet uh, along with three rear jets that are set at 33 degrees. These rear jets help propel the sewer jetter through the pipe also removing and clearing debris as it goes. You can also use those rear jets to cut along the sides and tops of the pipe. The kit also includes a rotating head nozzle. So that rotating head has three rear facing jets which rotate and spin as the jetter goes through the pipe. So that's used for an even cleaning of the pipe as it spins and rotates as it goes through. The sewer jetter kit also includes Teflon tape, tools for attaching the nozzles, pins for cleaning out the nozzles, and all the connectors needed to attach it to your pressure washer. I'm going to start with the button nose jet on the business end of the hose and then I'll later use the rotating nozzle as a final cleaning once the main blockages has been removed. I connected using the quick connect attachment uh, directly in line to the uh, pressure washer wand and hose so then we'll be able to use the wand trigger to activate the jetter to turn it on and off. As a first pass I ran the entire 100 foot of hose from my clean out access all the way to my house. I worked slowly whenever any resistance was felt to help clear out any of the blockages it encountered on the way. At first I was worried that the jetter wouldn't run the full distance, but I was, I was super impressed at how well those rear nozzles helped to propel the jetter through the line uh, and actually worked its way through pretty easily. After this first pass, I set up my sewer camera directly on top of my root blockages. With the sewer camera, you can directly control the sewer jetter head live in real time and focus your efforts directly on those root blockages. You can rotate the sewer jetter hose directly aiming the jets towards the blockages. Without the sewer camera, you'd really be flying blind and you wouldn't be able to focus in on problem areas such as roots entering your sewer line. 
I continue to work the sewer jetter around the root masses to blast away the roots. So here's a look at what the blockages looked like before I did any jetting at all. The first blockage is nearly completely closed off the pipe. And then here the second blockage, you can see a, a large root mass that's running down the length of the pipe. After just running that quick pass through the pipe with the jetter, uh, you do see some change to the roots. The jetter didn't seem to do as well on the first blockage. I must not have spent a lot of time there on the first blockage. Uh, but on the second blockage, it seemed to do a lot better and, and it removed quite a bit of the root mass. If you didn't have a sewer camera to work along with the sewer jetter, you'd really need to take your time working it where you reached any resistance or right up on a blockage if your flow was completely stopped. But the sewer camera really is a trick to getting a really good cleaning with this sewer jetter. With the sewer camera, it's super easy to focus in on problem areas like tree roots and really focus in on those areas and get a really good cleaning. As you can see from these before and after pictures, the vast majority of the root mass was removed. There is still some roots remaining around the top of the pipe or where the roots are entering the pipe, uh, but those are similar results as, a, as I saw previously when using a mechanical auger. The sewer jetter kit comes in available options of 50, 70, 100, and 150 foot hose lengths. I ended up going with the 100 foot length. After using the product, I was actually wishing I went with the 150 foot option. With the 150 foot option, I can actually reach uh, from my last clean out all the way out to the roads. My house actually has three clean outs. Uh, the 100 foot would get me from the last clean out all the way up to my house. But actually to reach the road, I would need a little more than 100 foot to reach from my last clean out to the road. I'll put links to all four hose length options in the video description below. Let me know in the comments which one you ended up choosing. For the past several years, I switched to using rock salt uh, added monthly to my pipes to help with root control, but I wasn't real happy with the results. Obviously here we are a few years later and I've got roots back in my pipe. The rock salt's a lot cheaper, um, so it's, it's not gonna be as expensive as a product like Rudex, uh, but it doesn't seem to be nearly as effective. The reason it really isn't as effective is because in order for the rock salt to work, uh, the roots have to come in contact with the salty solution. In my case, I've got over 200 foot of pipe. It's just real hard to keep that salt in contact with the roots in order for it to be effective. The roots actually have to grow down to the bottom of the pipe to come in contact with the solution. So uh, it's just really not a good option. I plan to switch back to using root X to try to keep the roots at bay. Uh, also, I'll make another video uh, showing how well root X actually works uh, now that I have the sewer camera. My plan is to get a good look at the roots in the sewer and then treat it with root X and see how well that foaming action uh, works to come in contact with the roots and then monitor it over time to see if the roots truly do decay and, and go away like they claim. If you're interested in seeing this video, please check the video description below or subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Overall, I couldn't be more pleased with the sewer jetter kit and how well it worked. Uh, super impressed at how easily it moved through the pipe and, and, and ran out the 100 foot of hose. Uh, it really did a great job at removing the root mass. I was a little skeptical if it would, it would truly blast through those roots and cut them out, but with the sewer camera you could really work the problem areas of the pipe. Uh, you just wouldn't be able to do that without the help of the sewer camera. Uh, you might feel some resistance with the sewer jetter uh, and can focus in on those areas, but having that, that sewer camera really helped stay in those, those problem areas, blasting those roots and removing them.